digital transformation is all about uh, using uh, the latest technologies, digital technologies. Okay. So it is started with using social, mobile, analytics, and cloud, and then uh, IoT was added to it, and then now you know we are talking about artificial intelligence, which is an evolution of uh, analytics. Okay. So how do you leverage these technologies to solve business problems, create new opportunities, um, address market segments which were not there earlier? Uh, you know, uh, beyond your products and services, create industry solutions. Uh, that's, that's uh, in my view, uh, digital transformation. Our locos are fitted with 200 plus sensors. Okay. Uh, we collect this data uh, in real time and the, uh, a lot of this data is downloaded in the service shops when the locos come home and we take all of this data to cloud. We have global performance optimization centers or GPOX as we call them around the world. Uh, they monitor the locos in real time and uh, if, they, if they see anything going wrong, any kind of sensor data which is um, signifying something going wrong, uh, they immediately issue advisories to the customer okay, and to our service people. Um, and if need be, they can also seek further data from the locomotive. So this is how we manage the health, reliability, and uptime of our locomotives across the world. There are 18,000 of our locomotives which are monitored by GPOC today. We get all kinds of data. We get uh, engine temperature, um, you know, oil pressure, um, uh, fuel. Uh, as I said, 200 sensors means a lot of data about the locomotive, right? So all the data from these sensors is collected and uh, passed through various algorithms. Uh, it's huge amount of data coming from all these locomotives. Um, this is passed through various algorithms and the alerts are generated. Um, alert is, may not be generated from a single sensor data. It could be a combination of multiple sensor data as well. Okay. So we are using AI-equipped locomotives to automatically uh, detect sun kinks, which is uh, deformations in the rail tracks. Okay, um, these could potentially cause derailments. So AI models can scan video footage, okay, uh, coming from cameras fitted in the locomotives, um, and uh, uh, they can determine whether uh, you know there's a kink and you know is it. Uh, can it cause potential derailment and then it can generate the alerts. Our Rosa shop runs uh, all the cutting edge software. We run our service software there. Uh, we have a small monitoring center, uh, a mini GPOC you may call it, uh, for all the IR locos there. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, a simulator okay, on which we train the loco pilots. So these are some of the technology implementations we have done in Rosa. We are supposed to train about 8,000 loco pilots okay, over the course of um, our contract, which is for 10 years. Um, we run weekly training courses right now, and which includes a simulator experience. And this is very well appreciated by the loco pilots. See, where we are moving strategically is, uh, you know, going beyond our uh, products and services to creating industry solutions, okay? Uh, an example would be, let's say, network performance management. If we are able to uh, optimize networks in a way that, uh, let's say, uh, you know, we are able to move trains 1% one, uh, 1 faster, right? Uh, it creates uh, billions of uh, productivity in the entire system, okay? Um, so we are right now on that path where, you know, um, uh, complex, large-scale networks, okay, um, get managed. We bring AI into those and, uh, you know, make these, make the entire railway network work faster, okay. On the, uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, we also have uh, technologies today, you know, which take us more and more towards um, advanced automation of locomotives. Okay, so we have technologies today 
for example, trip optimizer, you know, which does the automatic power management in a locomotive. Okay. Uh, we have locotrols, you know, which is distributed power management uh, in a train. So if you have a long train, you can have three different locomotives in three different places. They need not be uh, they need not be made by us. We can support eight different types of locomotives. Okay, um, and they can communicate uh, uh, with each other and. Uh, uh, and 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 they can uh, do a distributed power management. You know, some something may be ratcheting down and something may be ratcheting up, okay, like that. So uh, these technologies put together and the fact that these are connected, okay, can lead to advanced automation of trains, uh, uh, which means that uh, a very very optimized operation of the train without too much of human inter human uh, uh, involvement. Right. More and more, I would say, uh, coordinated operations across, you know, whether it's rail yards or uh, or, or tracks or uh, intermodal terminals, you know, you can see more and more efficient uh, handling, less waiting times, uh, more efficient utilization of assets in all these areas.